is a Blick easel that I recently bought. It is the Blick Nior French easel by Julian. So I had actually wanted this a couple months ago and I saw it, I thought, you know what, it's a little bit too expensive at the moment for me. Uh, and I wasn't really painting at the time all that much. So I thought, you know what, I'll let it go. If I need it sometime in the future, I will get it and, and use it at that point. But since then, uh, I looked at the price. It just kind of occurred to me to check on easels, once again on Blick. And I found that this thing was 50% off, and so it was like $100. And I thought, you know what? probably won't become a better price than this so I thought I'd get it and here it is so yeah without further ado uh, let's begin unboxing this guy okay so let's open this guy up real nice and gentle and so as soon as you open this like just the coloring of this entire case looks so nice I mean, especially with like the gold and black and like the the labeling of the the actual easel itself, Black Noir by Julian. It just looks so fancy. Um, and this is exactly why I wanted to share it with you guys. So the first category that I want to check out for the easel would be the look and feel of the product. So what I thought of this is that I really enjoy I, I really liked the whole gold and black. Um, aesthetic for the easel but um, what I didn't like was the actual texture of the entire thing so um, a lot of parts were a little rougher than I thought they would be I thought it would be a lot more smooth um, so I wasn't really uh, a fan of that but definitely the way that it looked I really liked but the way that it felt not so much now the other thing was that I felt like it wasn't super sturdy um, once everything was put together. So I, I think that may have just been my imagination a little bit, but I, I definitely wouldn't want to lean a ton of weight on this uh, from what I've felt as I was putting it together and, and things like that. So um, that's the only thing that I would say I, I really am not sure about. And that might be something that I'll probably, maybe I'll get a little bit more confident with that uh, as I use the easel. But as of now, I just felt it it seemed a little bit less strong than I probably would have liked. The next section is assembly and disassembly. So doing this, it, it, take, it takes a bit of time to actually figure out how to put together and disassemble the easel. The main thing is that there's a lot of screws that you have to go through, um, like the, the twist screws that you have to use to um, put together and, and unfasten things and like it, it just takes a while to figure out because there's just a lot um, but I think overall it's fine it's just you have to understand that when you're putting this together it's gonna take a minute so I would say maybe like 10 minutes or so once you really understand how everything goes um, together that should be like the maximum amount of time it'll really take you I, I would really say it's probably closer to five but it a little bit of it does take a little bit of getting used to definitely it took me a couple tries to really figure out and understand how things come together and and how to put things together and things like that uh, because the instructions aren't all that sufficient to be honest with this section um, it was like five to seven or so different images of putting together this device or putting together the easel and there were some nuances with the way you put things together that you, you, it just wasn't explained and you really just have to figure that out over the course of putting the device together a couple of different times. Um, and then the other thing was the back leg. I noticed it was like it wasn't fastened properly and it was it was pretty difficult to um, put it in place when you're putting it back into the box form and I wasn't really sure if that was by intention I, I feel like it wasn't because it's just it's really difficult to put that back leg in its spot when you're putting it into like the box form when you're disassembling it so that was one thing that I was really like this is not something that I, I was okay with but overall putting it together taking it apart not super difficult once you figure out what you're doing so it'll take a couple tries and I would say it takes like a good 30 40 minutes to really get enough practice to really understand okay how do I put this together so yeah that, that's what I think about like how putting it together works 
storage space. What I mean by this is like once you put the device back into its box form, you put it in the little bag that they gave you. I gotta say the bag was very a very good touch. I didn't expect there to be a bag for this thing. So having that is actually very helpful for storage purposes. You just pretty much slide it in anywhere that you want. I'm leaving it in my closet just because that just makes more sense for me. But having the case for it really helps with like storage um, for, for, in my opinion. But also like it, it fits very easily into that case. And not only that, it's not super bulky once you put it into that form either. So it could fit in a lot of different nooks and corners of your house um, when you're not using it. So I would definitely say that in terms of storage, it's, it's pretty easy to find a spot for it. Um, yeah, and, and the sizing and everything, it, it just fits very well um, in the bag, and the bag can pretty much go anywhere. And, and with that being said, um, we're also going to shift into portability now, and that's mainly with the bag and the weight of the actual easel once it's in that state. So the weight of the easel is not all that big. Um, or all that heavy. It's pretty easy to carry around and I think that's a very good thing and so it's it's a pretty lightweight um, weight when you're carrying around uh, when you're carrying it around so definitely recommend that if you want something that's very lightweight to carry with you. The only thing is I have not tested it with also putting in different materials into the box before you walk around with it so um, that, that could change like depending on how much stuff you put in to your easel um, in those little drawers and compartments, well, that might change how much um, weight you have for those devices. Now, the other thing is that it is pretty easy to carry around. It ha they come with like a little bit of a strap. Uh, it comes with a strap that you can just swing around your uh, on your shoulder and it's pretty easy to carry around after. The last section that I want to talk about is the cost of this actual easel. And so I will say that I believe the original price of this is $200. I didn't pay $200 and I probably wouldn't pay $200 and that's just me. Um, I, 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 As of now, I'm more of a hobbyist, right, when it comes to um, drawing, painting, things like that. So this would have been like a very big commitment if it was at full price when I bought it. That being said, I did buy it for $100. That's like not, not as much, but it's, it's not a nominal amount, right? So... I would say that do your research and figure out um, what exactly your needs are and if you want a full-blown easel that's very easy to I would say very portable and things like that this might be your guy but if that's not the case maybe get a table easel or um, or, or something of a different material something a little bit more cheaper in your wheelhouse if that's something that you don't really um, need I, I would suggest trying to look for a cheaper option but that being said for me it was like I wanted something that was pretty high quality and because of how cheap it was in comparison to its original price it was 50% off I decided you know what let's make the investment because I knew that I'd be using it probably for the rest of my life um, or at least until it breaks you know so that, that was my thought process when I purchased it and so I know I'm going to also be using this fairly consistently um, for painting, drawing, things like that. So if you don't know whether or not you're going to use this all that often, I would recommend not making this investment. So, but if you have developed your skills in in drawing and painting, and you 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 think you would use it quite often, I would recommend the purchase. That being said, still do your own research, figure out whether or not this product's right for you, and see whether or not there's something else that might be better. Right? Um, these these are just my thoughts on what I saw with the what I got at the end of the day and I think that it works for what I want right it, it will meet my criteria for exactly what I want it to do so whether or not that's the case I, I would recommend uh, doing some more research look at the specifications for different easels and things like that and, and see what's best for you so yeah if uh, this video helped you in any way uh, if you found the information valuable at all, please let me know in the comments below. Please like the video, and if you want to see more like this, um, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.